It's just Bruce, he don't bite. <laughs> Hello. The voting system in America is messed up. Here's how Bruce would fix it if he had the chance. Maybe he will run for president in 2028. That would be funny. Let's see what his dumbass has to say, shall we? Hey folks, welcome back. Been working on my shop tonight and watching YouTube videos and a little bit of the news. It's so hard to find news that's real anymore. Uh, you know, I'm one of those guys, yeah. I don't even, I don't even have TV. I only have internet. I don't, I have no, don't have cable. I don't, I don't like watching the news because it's biased one way or the other. I, I just, I don't want to deal with politics. I don't want to deal with all the stress. And this isn't a political channel. It's just me being weird most of the time or having fun or teaching y'all something. But I was thinking about something tonight and I think I can make this non-biased because I just want to know what y'all's uh, point of view is on it. And the, what I want to talk about tonight is uh, the, the voting system. For our country. Um, I'm not being biased. This is just, to me, it's just a common sense thing. You know, uh, both sides have been accused of voter fraud and all this other crap. And then I saw tonight that uh, somebody in Portland's going around blowing up the voting uh, where you put your mail-in ballots. They're blowing up the stations for that. It, it, so It's like, I don't understand in today's world why they can't get an accurate count of votes one way or the other so i started thinking and i'm like you know this is 2024 technology is like off the scale right now compared to the way it's been in the past 50 years that i've been alive 56 years so i have an idea and i wonder why no one has ever said this i couldn't find anything on the internet about it why nobody's tried it but i have and hear me out like i said i'm not being i'm i'm not being biased in any way shape or form this is just common sense to me uh, for Americans in America and voters. Uh, to get an accurate count, uh, I have a system that I think would probably work. But I don't understand why nobody's talking about it. I don't understand why no one's implemented it before. Um, it should have been kicked around a long time ago. In the 2016 election and the 2020 election, and it's going to happen again here in the 2024 election, there's always been questions about the actual election itself. You know, one party says it was fixed. The other party lies to us all the time. We don't know what to believe. We don't know what to believe from either party anymore. That's what it comes down to. Um, you know, and I'm friends with a lot of people fr from either side or any any political affiliation because you have the independents too. Um, and I, I talk to them. And what people don't understand nowadays is sometimes it's okay to disagree with each other. It doesn't have to be violent. You don't have to lose friends over it. I'm a person, I will sit down and I'll discuss one of, discuss things. One of my good friends um, I talk to quite often is, um, I don't know if I'm allowed to say where he's from. Uh, he's from one of the places I go to. Very nice guy. And he's a he's, uh, very opposite side of the tracks than I am with my political views. Without saying them. We sit there and we will talk, no problem. He disagrees with me, I disagree with him. We have a normal conversation, just like I'm talking to you right now. It's how I am. It's how he is. I don't believe in his views. He doesn't believe in my views. Hey, you know, it's one of those instances where you have to agree to disagree and uh, not start hate conversations over it. We were talking about the voting process, and he actually kind of agrees with me. So here, here's what I think about what we need to do for a better voting system in America. And... Uh, he kind of agreed with me, too. And keep in mind, this guy's on the opposite side of the spectrum as me. Nice guy. But he's on the opposite side of the spectrum of me. I told, I told him my idea. And he's like, that's actually a really good idea. Why don't we do it? Someone's at my door. All right, I had to take a break. Somebody was knocking on my door at 10 o'clock at night, passing out uh, political literature, of all things. I'm like, go away. Go away. I'm like, it's 10 o'clock. Why are you knocking on my door? Why, why are you here? It's too late for this crap. I don't even know who they were pushing. Don't know. Don't care. 10 o'clock. Go away. Leave me alone. I'm a grumpy old man. Get out of my yard. Okay. What were we talking about? Oh, the, the voters and the voting, the voting uh, situation and stuff like that. Now, you know, years ago, it was easy. You got out of your town hall or your voting place, however they did it back then and before my time. Yeah, I'm not that old. Yeah, you're, you're, you're right down. I guess they gave you, maybe they gave you a form and you put your name on it and 
da 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 check, 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 here's who I vote for, da 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 all the way down, president, presidents, governors, congressmen, you know, whatever you're going to vote for. And you put it in a little wooden box, the end of the night, they closed the polls in, there was assistants that sat there and physically counted the votes and stuff like that, and then they all got conglomerate, conglomerated. Yeah, I stutter, I'm sorry. Especially when I'm passionate about something. And then, you know, it took, it probably took, I'm, I'm imagining, because I wasn't there, I'm not that old, I'm imagining it took a couple days to figure it out. Figure out who won what, you know, because it wasn't just for the president, it was for everybody. Just, you know, same as what we're doing now, basically. And then, of course, it evolved, and now, you know, you go to your, the one way to vote is you go to your voting voting place on election, on election day, and, you know, you show your registration card, I guess, and, you know, you, you click who you want to uh, vote for. And then you're done. All electronic. Uh, that can be cheated. We all know that. Um, the mail-in ballots. You have mail-in ballots. Okay, they used to call them absentee ballots. That's for people that uh, couldn't leave their house for one reason or the other. Uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe they're old and just can't get around. I mean, you know, I'm not insulting the people that use these. I'm just saying what we got. Uh, I think that's been abused lately, especially this election. They keep plugging it, you know, do your mail-in ballots. But then I hear in the news about what happened in Portland, and there was another city that, that did it too, um, where somebody's going around blowing up the ballot boxes. But why would you do that? You know, of all things, why why would you do that? You don't know who's voting for who. And it just, no, I'm sorry. Voting for the president and governors and all that stuff should be... Uh, it should be private. It should be uh, honest. I know. It's hard to use the word honest when we're talking about politics. But it should be. Uh, I'm sure there's other ways to vote that I don't know about. But the one way I think would solve all this is right here. And I really hate that we're slaves to cell phones. But we are. You put an app out for America... Every American citizen can get the app or on your laptop, you know, whatever. You log in with your social security number. Every American who is of voting age has a social security number. I'm pretty sure that's a true statement. You have a social security number. It's your own, it's a government ID. It's a government number. People say, oh, I don't want to give out my social security number. It's a government ID. So this is a government situation. So this is kind of what it's designed for not just Social Security. So there's an app. So you log on, you register to vote with your Social Security number, just like you register to vote to get the little card you have in your wallet. And then you sign in and you can vote for whoever you want to that way, online. We do everything else online. We pay our bills online. Uh, the government pays our tax return online. We pay our taxes online. Uh, we pay for our streaming services. Everything is done online now. Why can't we do the voting thing online? Then you'd be like, oh, well, you know, what, what about the people that don't have computers? There's a public library you can go to and use a computer there. What about the people that are computer illiterate? They got to have some family or friends that will help them out. If not, then we'll, you know what, we'll uh, rent out the high school for a day and give them a tutorial and let them come up there and that could be their voting place. Or and still, you know, go to the regular voting places on uh, regular voting day, but if we had an app on this phone, it would make it so much easier and more people would actually do it. More people would actually vote. Because I know three or four people that won't get off their lazy ass and go down to the voting polls and vote. Because it's an inconvenience. And these are also the same people that want to cry about it the entire four years, no matter what president we have. I've seen it happen, folks. It's a thing. But something so simple, I've never heard anybody mention it. I haven't seen anybody mention it. I looked on YouTube. I looked on Google. Um, I never hear it on the news. Why don't we just evolve and make it that way? Simple phone app to vote. Maybe it's because they don't get their little stickers at the end of the day. I, I don't know. What do you think the faults might be from that? I mean, anything could be hacked. They, they, they've already proved that they've hacked their regular voting systems here and there. It's, uh, you know, anything electronic can be hacked. Anything analog can be hacked, too. Uh, like, look look um, at, the 20, at the 2016 and the 2020 election. Uh, they proved that there were some mail carriers that just threw the ballots in the river. No, well, 
I don't know if it was an actual river, but it was proven that once or twice it happened. I mean, so if it happens once or twice, who knows how many times we don't know about. And I'm talking to whoever's voting for anybody. I'm not being biased. It just, it's a thing. It just, there's just too many holes in the voting system. Why not? One social security number, one vote. Oh, someone passed away? Well, I know my mom passed away in February and her social security number was flagged four days after as deceased. So it'll come up deceased. So I wonder who she's voting for this year, by the way, but that's a whole other thing. It was flagged deceased. So boop, it pops up deceased. Uh, Vote doesn't count. Gets kicked out. Immigrants and stuff like that. I mean, if you're an immigrant and you don't have a social security number, I don't think you have the right to vote in America. And unless unless I'm wrong about that. And I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm, I honestly don't know. But I'm pretty sure every voter in America has a social security number. Please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Don't be a jerk about it because I honestly don't know. Uh, just my thoughts tonight. Thanks for hanging around. Uh... Yeah, just something to think about. And I really wonder why people aren't talking about it. There's a few other things I have in my mind that, to me, is common sense and nobody talks about. I don't really like it in political, so I'm not. I'm trying to be as unbiased as possible. But think about the voting situation. I think I got some valid points. Leave me in the comments. Love me, hate me, whatever. I'm just. I'm actually just curious tonight. All right, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Well, that's one way to look at the situation. How would you make it better? Leave a comment with your opinion. Not everything has to be an argument. We can just share ideas without hating each other. Now, I need to go find a place in these woods to poop. Good night.